Well, it was another hot one here on the Sun Coast, but uh, yes. looking forward to next week. Yeah, we just got to get to next there. week. Yeah, almost <laughs> there. Yeah, you know, it was really nice though this morning. Uh, it the was northeast wind, dry yeah. conditions out there. You know, it, it, even though the temperature was 70, I checked it out. You know, I was looking. I mean, yeah. the, the humidity was so low, it made it feel yeah. so much nicer out there. So that's one of the benefits. It lasted for about an hour and a half, two hours, and I stepped outside <laughs> later and started to get warm again. Uh, here's a look at what's going on with the viewer photos. Uh, photos, Norm. That's right, Norm Schimmel uh, getting this nice shot right there from one Watergate Tower uh, looking out <laughs> over Sarasota Bay uh, with a few fair weather cumulus clouds around. Another one had to use both these here. This one looking over the Ringling Bridge showing fair skies. And uh, that was nice out there. Vanway's a webcam uh, showing Sarasota Bay. Pretty calm conditions there, uh, but it was rough going if you got out a little bit further off into the eastern portion. Of again, the uh, Gulf of Mexico way out there, the seas are running pretty high, and that small craft advisory now is going to be lifted here fairly soon. We have a stationary front. There's not much left of it. It's fairly uh, dissipated now down to our south. High pressure continues to dominate the weather over the southeast United States, and that high will slip off uh, down to the southeast and really dominate our weather. We're getting that east to northeasterly wind flow around that area of high pressure, which is now located over the Carolinas. Currently, it's sunny, 85 degrees, and the dew point temperature 69. Winds out of the northeast at 10, the pressure even at 30 inches, and the high today was above average at 89 degrees. There were some low 90s around. 85 is our average, and the record high, 92, set back in 1971. Zip on the rainfall. We don't anticipate any rain on Friday, any measurable precipitation. We may see a sprinkle here and there, but not much. The hourly forecast is calling for, again, above average temperatures tomorrow. We'll have partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies anticipated throughout the day as a result of that high pressure ridge. And looks like uh, that stays on Saturday, even throughout most of Sunday. So a pretty nice weekend, albeit on the warm side. It'll be a nice weekend. And those winds will start off pretty nice again tomorrow morning out of the northeast to bring in that cooler start. Want to get up early to enjoy that. Uh, winds will be out of the northeast anywhere from 15 to 20 miles an hour. Subsiding somewhat in the, again, the uh, morning hours, anywhere from 5 to 10. And then we'll look for similar conditions on Sunday. Here's the future cast. Clouds and showers, not much to them. A few isolated showers are possible as it heads off uh, to the west there. A few spotty showers, again, over parts of central Florida. That's about as far as they make it, and that continues on Saturday, and it looks like even into Monday, it's not too bad. The front arrives late Monday night and into Tuesday. That's when our best chance for rain will be. In the tropics, all is quiet right now. Nothing to monitor at this point, and a lot of shear going on down to our south at Old Frontal Boundary. We sometimes look for something that'll pop up, but there's nothing happening with this front. The other one may be a different story. Well, speaking of fronts, they're getting some fronts out west, finally, into California to help things out with the uh, drought there and also the fire danger. Clear skies, though, clear sailing over much of the southeast and throughout the Midwest. For boaters, winds will be out of the northeast. Not as strong, but still at 15 knots. So exercise caution if you're going well offshore. Seas running 2 to 4 feet with a moderate chop out there. The water temperature now at 82 degrees. The UV index will be high tomorrow at 10. Tides upcoming, low tide at 727 and a high at 1237. Another low tide at 813. Mostly fair, mild. And breezy tonight. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, warm. Just a slight chance for a passing shower late in the day. Football Friday night looks to be good. And the extended forecast calling for changing conditions, but not until after the weekend is over. Highs will be in the upper 80s both on Saturday and Sunday. And then the uh, storms start to move in. The showers, a few thunderstorms late Monday and into Tuesday. And then look at the highs on Wednesday and Thursday, 70s and lows in the low 60s to start things off on Thursday morning.